Hey, peace, love, and light. Happy New Year, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. I have missed y'all like crazy. It has definitely been a beautiful, beautiful entrance into this sixth universal year, 2022. Um, I spent the time with family. We built, we danced, we connected, we eat, we ate, drank, and was very merry. There was a lot of fireworks popping off. Um, but it was a really beautiful time and I really will that you all had an equally uh, beautiful time with your loved ones, with your friends, family, um, and lovers. Uh, this, this year seems to be um, starting out with a bang. Um, shortly after all of the celebration, uh, my son uh, fell under the weather, so I had been nursing him back to uh, health, which is why you hadn't heard from me, which is why there was no happy new year, you know, which is why there was no activity on my channel because I was really focused on uh, nurturing my son back to health. Um, and I was also a little under the weather as well. Um, but nobody had anything that should cause alarm. We are all healthy. Everything is beautifully uh, coming back into alignment, into balance. Um, but I do thank you uh, for tuning and tapping in. Welcome if you are new. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I am an empathic. I'm intuitive and I'm also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background and those messages tend to blend very beautifully with the tarot messages. Uh, for all who may be new, my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you are more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements so that you may be able to get a more clear and concise message for yourself. Um, this is also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to uh, do so. Um, <clears throat> So the song that's playing right now, and I haven't even begun and my throat is already getting blocked. And we already know how this person that's wanting to come to you is. They're all choked up all the damn time, apparently. Um, we have Flowetry, and this is called Closer. So I feel like this person is perhaps, hopefully, um, getting closer to um, taking action, coming towards you, speaking up, speaking out expressing themselves, revealing themselves, verbalizing um, their emotions or communicating something to you. Uh, maybe this person wants to come closer to you so they may want to travel to see you, to uh, be in your presence, to be in your company. Um, maybe you're getting closer to a particular goal. Um, but I feel like something is closer. So it's like you are... Um, you're getting closer to achieving something or someone's getting closer to revealing something. But this is um, a beautiful energy. Um, we're going to start off with the energy oracle deck. Um, before we delve any deeper, let me go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, animal totems, Ascended Masters, Deities, Most High God, our Creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I ask Source Universe to provide me with the divine interventions, downloads, the clarity, the discernment, the intuition to pick up on the energies, number synchronicities, vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. So on the bottom of the deck and on the split. So we have uh, number 44 and number 46. 44 is woman holding a heart. So I do feel like a lot of you with that number 44, uh, maybe some of you all turned 44 this year during your solar return. Maybe your solar return is November 8th. Um, maybe some of you all um, may have turned um, 44 on October 26th. Um, I do feel like, uh, 
this energy is showing that you have angels. This is woman holding a heart. So you may have uh, a particular feminine energy uh, ancestor in the spirit realm who's definitely um, sending you love. You know, they are uh, perhaps transforming a circumstance, a situation for you. Uh, maybe this is your energy learning how to manifest what you want, um, learning not to just give your love, your heart away to just anyone to be very protective. Um, we have Prince Adore playing. So I feel like you've um, definitely been practicing self-love. I see this number is 44. Uh, that's eight. So this is almost like the energy of the alchemist healing uh, from past wounds, traumas. Um, past circumstances that was very um, painful um, and nurturing yourself back to health but doing so with the uh, assistance of like your angels your spirit team um, your ascended masters your deities your ancestors um, I see here that you've grown tremendously like there's been a lot of growth a lot of uh, you know you've evolved you know there's like this leveling up you've matured um, and you're emotionally um, in equilibrium, but you're also very protective of your energy. You have your back turned to uh, this thinking man, and this thinking man looks like he's trying to strategize a way or to, you know, um, even trying to, like, emotionally manipulate you, uh, trying to, I'm sorry, I'm hitting the, the, uh, the camera. It looks very dark, so I'm trying to make it where you could see the cards. Um, but it's like he's trying to emotionally manipulate something uh, and you've turned your back. This person is realizing they adore you. It's almost like they're looking at their hand, um, almost like reminiscing on, you know, a time when they had you in their possession and they lost you. Um, with the number 46, something has ended and this person seems to be trying to figure out how to recapture uh, the love, maybe perhaps within this connection, because they adore you, according to Prince. They see you as an earth angel, very rare, very special. You're like a miracle. They know you deserve the best, and maybe they failed at doing that in the past. Maybe they were being controlling. This angel of love, see, I do feel there's, there's a, a conspiracy, like you have a beautiful angel that's helping to restore the balance, you know, in your love arena you know someone trying to um bring in like that twin flame that soulmate that number four reminds me of like 11 11 you know that also is someone very stable very sturdy uh someone very committed someone willing to collaborate work together um and with the thinking man this person strategizing a way to come in and i feel like it's because the angels you know are really uh very intricate you know intricate and instrumental in this union um i feel like somebody has been struggling financially and may have had to learn to uh be independent to be um self-sufficient not reliant on another person another soul uh, for their income for their wealth um I feel like a marriage or, a, you know, some sort of uh, common law uh, connection, whatever this was, where you may have planted seeds, roots. You was growing, you know, building something, I should say, with someone. And I feel like it was destroyed. Something ended abruptly. Uh, something ended unexpectedly. Uh, it was a sudden, like, upheaval, um, you know, which is caused by, you know, some sort of deceptive or deception or a betrayal or lies. Um, I feel like there was a lot of healing required with that angel of love uh, helping you to discover your love language. My throat chakra is getting blocked again. So this person wants to communicate maybe in the past when they tried, when they attempted. It always led to an argument or blow up or some sort of disagreement. Um, I feel like this person was used to... Um, you know, they were very destructive. I just see a very destructive energy. Maybe they really um, negatively impacted your finances. Maybe they really um, caused a lot of damage within the relationship. And it, it, it took a lot for you to nurture yourself back to heal. This is another 10. Um, and this was someone that you were building with. But I feel like some of their decisions were very selfish. And they made decisions um, based off what they wanted um, and not what was 
best for the greater um, good, you know, for the whole. Um, and I see that this person was, you know, low-key envious and jealous. You know, maybe they're jealous of the fact that you've been able to rebuild after some sort of uh, storm, you know. Um, maybe you've outsmarted them and avoided some sort of storm. Um, maybe they are a, a little jealous and envious because you're getting closer with someone in particular, someone special. Maybe you have, like, you know, someone coming in. We got Sugar Daddy playing by D'Angelo. Um, and this is from the Vanguard album. So this person definitely could be a little jelly because you may have uh, someone new giving you their time, their attention. Um, with Sugar Daddy, they could be someone who's very well off and they could be, you know, kind of like showering you with gifts. Um, and there's envy, there's jealousy because you appear to be happy. You appear to be, um, you know, pretty content in your relationship or in this um, partnership, whoever this person is that you're dating or seeing, it's like this person uh, feels threatened by them because they're well off. You know, this person seems to be um, able to take care of you in a way that they may not have been able to in the past. Um, and I see here, like, honestly, my, comp my thing is doing the same thing it was doing before, where it's like... Um, It's glitching and it's really driving me crazy. So sugar daddy. So yeah, somebody's a little envious, a little jealous because you have somebody like really taking care of you and maybe they're going to try to come in and try to like start an argument, as I said, try to get you up. Yeah, but you ain't falling for the okie doke. You in your power. You see exactly what's going on. You're like a thousand steps ahead of the game and you've learned from the past uh, not to engage, to disengage. Uh, the moment you detect... Uh, bad behavior, you, 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 you disengage, you know, and so I see there is a different card. Um, this is from the numerology card, uh, deck, and this happens to be in here, so I feel like this is going to be a very important message. Um, so we have music here, and this is another 32, so music. I feel some of you all are clairaudient. I feel like there's uh, a lot of downloads that you all receive in the music. I feel like music is your sanctuary, music is like your life your peace, this is like your solitude, your safe haven. This is what you are, um, you know, that you, a gift or skill that you've been honing, that you've been mastering, sharpening. Some of you could be writers, rappers, hip hop artists. Um, you may write songs or produce songs. Um, you may play instruments, guitar, drums, um, violins. I'm hearing uh, the harp for someone. Um, the saxophone, I'm hearing the trumpet. Um, some of you may play the bass. Um, I feel music is very important, very instru instrumental, but I also feel like someone's communicating to you through the music. So maybe someone is communicating right now that they want to be your sugar daddy, you know, that they want to be the one to care for you, to love you. Um, this is someone I feel that um, is mustering up the strength, the courage, and even the wisdom, the wise dome, that's why that thinking man was there, uh, because they were strategizing um, a plan, strategizing a way to come towards you, a way to communicate, to verbalize, to express themselves, to share their feelings. Um, they see you as someone very strong, someone who's taken their power back, someone very self-disciplined um, that definitely acts with uh, integrity, you know, Someone very dignified, someone very beautiful, very caring, um, and also someone who's been through a lot. It's like you're a leader, um, so you're not being led astray. Uh, this is a lion, but it's still a feline, a cat, so you're very impervious to threat, which is what I was picking up before. So this person knows they can't come in playing games, mind games. It's 14, 14, so that's 5, 5, 10, 10. Or else it would be the death of them because maybe this is someone from your past with whom you've already let go, someone you've already cut off, purged, and they know they have to come correct. Um, so let's go ahead, comp finish uh, shuffling the deck. So that was your uh, bonus message music. 
Um, so I do feel like this person is receiving a lot of messages also telepathically, uh, intuitively, clairaudiently. Um, they're being reminded in some way to express themselves, to communicate how they feel because the number 32 reduces the five and that deals with the throat chakra. Uh, maybe there are, like I said, creative or artistic expression um, in music, with music, or through the music. Maybe you all utilize music as a form to express yourselves. Um, so let's cut the deck, see what's coming in, going out, going on with my beloved Scorpios. Remember, we had that 10, so there was a karmic end and a completion. See that? So we have caring connections, and this is the number five. Someone definitely feels another five, so five, five. And remember, we saw 1414, 14, which is 55 five again. So there's a lot of fives. Maybe some of you all are seeing 555. Five, five. I feel like this person definitely is wanting to express how much they care, how much they really, um, how much they really um, cherish this relationship, this connection, this uh, synergy that they feel with you. I feel like this person has held back a lot of their emotions, held back a lot of you know, what they truly feel, their deepest, darkest desires, their deepest passions, and they really involve you, you know, with this sugar daddy. I feel like this person is really sweet on you. Um, this person is really someone who wants to come in like your knight in shining armor. Um, this is someone that will have your, heart, your, your back, um, someone very, you know, solid, very um, protective of you, uh, someone that will just show you beautiful kind gestures of love you know buying you a bouquet of flowers or just taking you on a stroll on a park by the water or taking you on a boat ride like doing things um maybe this person may um make a song you know dedicate a song to you um so we have erica badu now playing fall in love this person has fallen in love and i feel like again because of the music the divine is telling me to listen to this song so i do feel like this person's hearing songs um, that is letting them know that they feel deeper than they may have let on. They've been trying to hide their emotions. They've been trying to avoid being, um, you know, um, vulnerable in this connection. And I feel like they've kind of like blocked themselves from expressing what they truly, truly want. And what it seems like is they love you, you know, and they they're going to eventually take action. I feel like the songs, as I said, whatever they're picking up is, is really urging them to take action. Um, I feel like they, there's a part of them that, just, that sh feels they're protecting themselves. Uh, but deep down, they know that your wish fulfillment, this is the number 17. So it's like there, there was healing necessary in this connection or there's healing um, that was required within them. Uh, probably because of a failed relationship, but they're having these nudges, these little, you know, you know, little interventions, divine interventions, uh, telling them to communicate, telling them to express themselves, telling them to reveal that they've fallen in love, um, to take action and to not, you know, and to not give in to fear, you know, because I feel like, you know, maybe they are fearing that you may reject them um they are fearing you know that there is um you know something that may go wrong in this connection so let's go ahead and get some additional messages what else is coming in going out going on for my beloved scorpios thank you spirit and the bottom of the deck see that somebody has to walk away from a connection maybe you've walked away uh, from them in the past with this 27 this is the um, highest number of change so I feel like what's happening behind the scenes that you're unaware of is they're uh, preparing to walk away um, from a relationship that's kept them bound stuck stagnant um, feeling confined um, they've been concealing their feelings of love they've been concealing their feelings of synergy connectivity um, chemistry that they have with you um, this is something that they want to recapture uh, something that they want to change between the two of you uh, because I feel like you know they've held on to love um, with fall in love this person has fallen in love with you um, so let's see what we have see that daughter romance I can't make this shit up so this person has fallen in love and they feel like you know they have the key to your heart, you know, because they can sense that you are very protective of yourselves, um, that you've created a protective bubble, like you're, you know, in like a safe space, a safe haven. Um, you've created more of like a sacred um, space where you do a lot of meditating, healing, 
um, and nurturing yourself back to life. This number 33 is like harmony. So they see you as someone um, very spiritual, in harmony, in alignment, um, mind, body, and soul. Someone very grounded, balanced, and in alignment. So it's like you're not just going to accept any, any old measly offer. Um, you're seeking someone that's going to be the yang to your yin, yin to your yang, your divine feminine, divine masculine. Um, you want the right person to turn this lock because only the right person could turn the lock to this key, you know, which is going to unlock your heart. Um, it's caged for a reason because you are uh, protecting yourself. You've, you know, definitely created boundaries. And so this person has fallen in love and they want to come in um, and they really want to. Um, express to you these feelings that I feel they've been suppressing and holding back. Um, what I see here is four, 14, which is 5, and then I see 33, which is 6. So 5 and 6 reduces to 11. So I do feel like, again, that's that 11-11 vibration, twin flame, soulmate, uh, spiritual tie, soul connection, past life uh, connection. This is someone that you have a very uh, spiritual um, you know, connection to. Um, and see that with the broken heart. So, you know, someone's heart has been broken or feels, you know, very broken hearted in separation is what I'm feeling, uh, which is why uh, this nine is here as well, because this is also a nine. So I feel like, you know, uh, you walking away from them and creating space has caused heartbreak. Maybe it caused heartbreak in both of you. But I feel like with this nine, nine, both of you are um, really mirroring one another's energy. Um, just the fact that, you know, someone having to make a decision to walk away from someone they obviously love. Um, and it's because perhaps there was a lot of things going on. Maybe someone felt like, you know, they was investing in a connection and there was not enough being reciprocated. Um, they felt like they were, you know, being taken for granted or abused. Um, there was a lack of love, a lack of um, reciprocity, a lack of communication, um, and someone felt very caged and bound, like I said. Um, this was more so like codependent. And I feel like someone needed to walk away um, in order to rediscover who they are, what they want, what they desire, what their love language is, what works for them, what doesn't, um, what boundaries ought to be set. Um, and I feel like in walking away, this was definitely... Uh, this is the epitome of self-love makes you more attractive. This is the epitome of, you know, self-love being the best love um, and also teaching people um, how to treat you. You know, you taught someone that you've given um, numerous chances. Um, you were very patient with this person, uh, but they just repeatedly broke your heart. They repeatedly disappointed. They repeatedly deceived. They repeatedly lied. And so that's why now you're being more mindful, more cognizant to, um, you know, pre, you know, to set yourself up for success, um, to, you know, be very protective and guarded um, so as not to have anyone come in and take you for granted again. So we have here a uh, healer of the ages. So you had to heal yourselves. I feel like in healing yourselves, you've discovered you are great healers. Um, and this is, uh, you know, you being initiated by the divine. This is the number 51. So six is the sixth chakra, the, the, the third eye, or as I call it, the first eye chakra. So I feel like you started to use more discernment, intuition in this circumstance. 23, 23, 5, 5 again. So that's 10. So, yeah, you've had to heal from some painful loss, painful ending. Um, we have Tyrese playing right now. And this is called... Um, stupid um or dumb shit excuse me um so it's like what he says in the songs i'll be doing dumb 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 shit so it's like he's talking about cheating lines so somebody definitely was doing some dumb shit which caused you to walk away which caused you to throw in the towel to say i'm not going to be mistreated mishandled um and manipulated any longer gaslighted mind fucked get you know um treated like boo boo the fool um and you've healed yourself you focused on healing yourself a lot of you you know created a safe space a safe haven 
a, you know, you, you started to spend more time in front of your sacred um, spaces, which are your altars, maybe um, out in nature by bodies of water uh, to purify, release, recharge your batteries, to clean, clear, cleanse your energy, your spirit. I feel like you've discovered you are healers in the interim of healing yourselves. You know, every great healer, as I said, becomes, a, um, you know, every great healer had to first heal themselves. And because you're like in this archway and it says healer of the ages, I feel like you were initiated um, and you are in harmony. This is almost like this is your calling. This is your soul's mission. This is a part of your life's path. Um, this was destined to happen destined to take place in the manner that it did, the way that it did, whatever you experienced with that past person, it was necessary. See this, you are an alchemist. A lot of you have um, transformed and ascended into your power. Like you, you realize your magis, you know, you realize your mystics, your witches, warlocks, wizards, you know, you've met, realized your alchemists, that you create the potions and elixirs to life, that you can manifest your dreams, hopes, and desires. Um, this is an energy of power. This is an energy of, you know, being able to set intention, setting up prayers, petitions, um, doing certain manifestation um, rituals. Um, this is just knowing how to utilize the elements around you um, and creating those potions, those elixirs to life, um, focusing your intention and not wavering in your thoughts and you seeing what you desire manifest in this physical reality come into fruition. So we have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So this is the heart chakra. And so I do feel again with that number 11, someone is wakening to how much they love you, um, realizing that they did some dumb shit in the past. Um, they broke your heart and this led you, the most important person, someone that they care very deeply about, someone that they have this very strong synergy with, someone that they have fallen in love with to walk away. And so now they're realizing that in order for them to heal this situation, they may have to um, you know, first apologize. Maybe an apology is necessary. They're getting downloads um, from their angels, their guides, their the higher selves. You know, maybe they're seeking wise counsel, you know, spending time, like I said, in front of altars, um, in front of uh, sacred spaces such as bodies of water, um, you know, the ocean, the lake, uh, maybe going and sitting under, you know, a tree. But there is some sort of divine download intervention with this number 11. And this is someone very special and near and dear to your heart. Someone you have a very spiritual um, soul, cot, soul tie to. And I feel like this person gets tongue tied, tongue twisted when they try to um, express themselves. They feel dumb around you, maybe they're intimidated because we have Tyrese saying dumb shit, so maybe they're afraid they're gonna say some dumb shit. Um, but with this fourth chakra, um, they're definitely feeling um, a lot more than you than meets the eye. And I'm gonna get some water because I'm very cotton mouth right now. I definitely strongly am picking up this person does struggle with communication. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have blossoming abundance. So this is what you all, all of your hard work is paying off. I feel like you're manifesting, um, you know, some sort of financial situation, circumstance to work out. Things are blossoming. So I feel like this is not just only speaking of um, finances, but it's also speaking in regards to love because you did have the angel of love show up. So I feel like you're going to have um, a lot of emotional fulfillment. Um, in addition to financial fulfillment, um, right now we have Snoop Dogg and this is called um, sensual seduction. So, yeah, this person is definitely going to come in and seduce you. They're going to come in. They're going to court you. They're going to be very charming, very alluring, you know, very um, charismatic, I heard. And this is blossoming. I feel many of you all manifested this. You know, this is the divine saying, you know, wish fulfilled miracle is granted you know this is like you know with that number three i feel like there was a lot of of um intention set you know a lot of intention set and attention um set on what it was that you wish to manifest to call in to draw in to bring into you and i do feel like you know the divine is bringing that in it's sensual seduction so this is someone who's going to you know um seduce you they're gonna they like they're, they're going to like ravish you I heard the word ravish because they are very deeply attracted to you you know you know and with this romance here this is someone 
who's, you know, going to like wine and dine, you know, they're going to cook for you. They're going to, you know, gift you with flowers. They're going to do thoughtful things. They're going to take you on long walks. They're going to take you to the beach. You know, there's just this beautiful energy, you know, set up picnics, you know, even if it's outside in the backyard or on the patio, you know, they're going to grill for you, cook for you. It's just like engagement, time to connect, time to, you know, converse and build and just, you know, build this, this strong connection. This is beautiful. See that door to personal healing and happiness. So you, you're entering into a whole new chapter on the other side of this door um, is your happiness, your peace, bliss elation you know this is like you know the divine is opening up something very beautiful for you and i do feel like it's because you've suffered a lot of painful losses um and these were by people that you trusted this could be family friends lovers um you know old colleagues but you know by you um really focus on healing yourself by you really focusing on bettering yourself on self-love self-discipline um on you know strengthening yourself um, this is why you're being rewarded. This is why there's happiness here waiting for you. And with this 34, many of you could already be feeling that, sensing that. You're picking up on it. Um, you could sense someone coming in. This rainbow, I feel like this is someone who's also gone through enormous change. And with that white bird, this is like a rebirth. You know, this is, you know, speaking to a situation that is transforming for the better. This is a situation that the divine... Um, is giving you, um, nudging you to, to prepare for. So many of you, you know, I feel like, you know, with this card being the center, uh, the heart of the matter is someone had to walk away from a situation or circumstance that was no longer serving them because they felt heartbroken. They felt emotionally uh, bankrupt in that situation. They did not feel that that person um, was their person, was uh, their divine partner. And so this, you know, of course, it's painful because a lot of time, energy, effort um, was was invested. Uh, they were committed to this, but there was no return on that investment. Only heartache, only loss, only tears. Um, and so I feel like through walking away, healing, focusing on the health and, and uh, you know, the self rather, um, self-love, um, <clears throat> it definitely made someone um, stronger you know, stronger in their ability to be real, honest, com um, and communicative. And so now there's something blossoming here. And what's blossoming is there's a, an abundance of love, an abundance of happiness, abundance of joy. And it's because of the divine rewarding someone or both, you know, for their efforts. Uh, this magician shows, you know, this is like someone's co-creating with source, you know, so this is a powerful, powerful energy. And just because this card flew out, we're going to get some more cards from the numerology deck. Bottom of the deck, we have self-love. Look at that. So this is what someone had to learn. Self-love makes you more attractive. This is uh, the number 61, which is seven again. And seven again, like I said, um, is also here with uh, door to personal healing and happiness. So, you know, like I always um, say, self-love makes you more attractive, uh, but self-love is the best love. And I feel like you were, you know, uh, spiritually, divinely guided um, to focus on the self, to heal thyself, to go back to the root cause, to figure out, um, you know, who you are, what you like, to do some soul searching, to do some deep dives, uh, to heal any childhood traumas, to heal the child within, uh, to start expressing yourself, communicating more, um, opening up more, standing in your power, expressing your truth, not backing down for what you believe in, um, knowing that your opinions matter. Um, this energy of you know, this red or this orange is about you taking your power back, but also trusting and using discernment, using your intuition um, and expressing yourself when necessary. I feel like, as I said, many of you Scorpios were very bound and stuck. The person that you're attracting is now bound and stuck and they are going to do the right thing, you know, make the right move and walk away from a loveless uh, situation and circumstance. We have brother, sister here. And this is by um, the brand new heavies. And so I feel like this person is, you know, uh, realizing that they have to be them. You know, they have to 
they have to stand up in their truth. You know, they got to be themselves unapologetically um, and authentically, more importantly. Um, so, you know, by them loving themselves, being in harmony, being balanced is going to lead to them um, expressing the love that they have for you. See that leadership. So they have to take lead. They have to take you know, the lead in the situation, in the circumstance, because maybe there was a little bit of intimidation. Um, this person does know they have to use assertiveness when they come towards you. They're going to have to be assertive. Um, they're going to, it's going to require strength, courage, and wisdom with this 81. Um, this is them now, uh, kind of like taking on that power you know, taking on the power to walk away. Because when I see leadership, this is like with brother, sister, the brand new. So they're going to introduce someone to the, to someone, they're going to introduce this brand new version of themselves to you. And they're going to literally romance you, whine you, and they're going to stand up and they're going to hold on to the real things that matter, which is this love which is this the, this the romanticism that they wish to shower you with. And they do have love because if you look in the very center, you know, this pink, this symbol is pink in color, you know, and this is red and pink. So the red deals with the root chakra. So they see you as someone that could eventually become like a wife, a partner, you know, someone that they could commit to, that someone that they can invest in long term. And they do have love for you because that pink reminds me of like, you know, the heart chakra as well. Green and pink represent the heart chakra. So they do have these emotions. They do feel this, this um, like I said, chemistry, synergy, connectivity. And there's a longing. You know, I feel like, you know, this person is finally mustering up the courage, the strength to stand direct, to be fearless. Maybe they were trying to get their finances together. Maybe they were trying to... Um, you know, step into that power of the alpha because they know that you're the divine feminine, the divine masculine. So they wanted to match your energy, match your vibration because they see that you're in harmony with this 33 uh, daughter, you know, romance. So there's doors opening up for romance and personal healing and happiness. So there is, you know, a lot of blessings. You know, the divine is opening up golden opportunities. I'm hearing Mother Mama Yemenya is opening up these opportunities. Also, you have Mama Oya here present. And we have Rising to the Top by Kenny Burke. So there's definitely, um, you know, a sense that you, you know, you have um, got back on your feet. It's like, you know, whatever tried to destroy you couldn't kill you. You know, yeah, that heartbreak was very painful. And, and you may have been you know, out of balance for a while, but I feel like you, you definitely are rising. You know, this person sees you as a star. You know, this person sees you as, you know, like I said before, someone who is um, like an earth angel, someone very special, very rare, very strong, very spiritual, very powerful, very loving, nurturing, caring, thoughtful, considerate. And I feel like they, they do have shame because they know they broke your heart. So with this relationship change, see that? Someone definitely with this 56, remember I was picking up five, six on that card there. So this is your twin flame. And this person is coming in. I feel like if you're single Scorpios, you won't be for long because you're gonna be, um, your heart is going to be mended with rising to the top. I feel like this relationship is going to rise. You're gonna f rise in love is what I'm hearing. Instead of falling in love, I feel like this person is coming in to heal your broken heart. They're going to nurture it. There's going to be communication. This is a blue card with green inside. So this person definitely uh, will communicate and express love. This person may have gotten into another relationship and they have to break someone else's heart in order to come towards you. Or maybe they are bro broken hearted because there could have been some... Um, you know, some sudden ending, or as I said, maybe they could have been, uh, been involved in some sort of uh, betrayal as well. Somebody being deceptive, cheating, lying, sneaking around, snooping around. Uh, this person invested a lot. Um, but I do see that, you know, walking away is necessary because walking away is here. So they have to walk away. Um, 
and they are going to, I feel, you know, eventually come towards you and you will be in a relationship and this relationship will lead to you rising in love because this person definitely will romanticize you, will court you, you know, will be very considerate, very charming. You know, this is divine feminine and divine masculine energy, alpha energy. You know, so they're very grown about theirs. They don't play the game, the games. They don't resort to um, being tricksters, to being gaslighters, master manipulators. They are just naturally um, loving, nurturing, caring, thoughtful, kind, honest. You know, their love language matches yours. That's why we have this 11. You know, and remember, you got the 11 here with Archangel Raphael, which is the heart chakra. So this person is coming in looking for love the same as you, you know, and open to the new, open to new opportunities, open to new love. You know, this is somebody very caring. This is somebody very thoughtful. Like I said, ladies, this is the type of person that will buy you flowers or ladies, you will be the type of woman that buys flowers for your man. You know, men like flowers, too. And I see here with relationship change, this connection is going to evolve. It's going to ascend. It's going to grow. It's going to level up. It's going to be more serious because we keep rising to the top. So I hear growth, elevation, expansion, marriage, a proposal. So effort. Someone wasn't making the effort. This is 15. That's an, uh, th excuse me, that's 13. So that's four. So someone definitely wasn't showing someone the love that they required. They weren't emotionally intelligent. They were completely absent, disconnected, and they didn't make the effort. They played a lot of games. It was very childish, very detached. And so someone got tired of, you know, being emotionally bankrupt in a relationship, a partnership, a partnership feeling like they were being held hostage, you know, like, you know, because this gate, it's like somebody's locking you in there. So finally, someone's choosing to walk away. They're, they're, there's not enough love being shown. And this 13, that's like the number um, of the death card in traditional tarot. So there was a painful loss. You know, maybe you, were, you, you learned something about someone. They were making the effort elsewhere and not with you, breadcrumbing you along while making the effort with someone else. Someone that they may have been, um, you know, attracted to. You know, there was some sort of chemistry here that someone felt with another person. You know, maybe they felt like someone else was well off. Someone else was a better fit for them, you know. And so they made more effort elsewhere. And you just you chose yourself at the end of the day. That 13 reduces to four. So that's about stability, security. So you had to learn to stand erect, stand alone, you know, stand on your own square, be self-sufficient. Maybe this is what your person is learning, you know, that, um, you know, they can no longer, you know, f fight for something or commit or invest in a connection where um, no one else is making the effort, you know, where they feel trapped, where they feel bound, stuck, stagnant, 42, 42 on the clock. So that's six, six. So that's this person trying to find harmony and balance. Six, six also is 12. That's three. So they're trying to manifest something else, manifest someone new, you know. That's also discovering there could have been a third party. Also discovering that they want to collaborate with another person. They want to make the effort, effort you know. Now they're having some sort of epiphany, aha moment, mustering up the strength and the, uh, the, the power, the strength, the courage to walk away from something that they feel is done, done, thin. My throat chakra is getting blocked, so maybe they will now make the effort to express themselves, communicate their feelings towards someone, individuality. So someone was stuck in a codependent relationship, and this codep codependent relationship um, could be the very reason, you know, why they had to, um, you know, they had to learn to be independent, because this is your twin flame. So I feel like, you know, because this is 11, 11, right? So this person 
as well as you. I feel like both of you were in codependent relationships and y'all had to heal when those relationships crumbled and fell. When there was, you know, whatever betrayal, disappointment, backstabbing, lying, cheating, um, whatever it is that you all discovered was going on um, that you had to heal from, it taught you to stand um, erect, it taught you to stand independently, um, independently of another person. Uh, to to find your own stability, self sufficiency, security, um, to establish that for yourself, because your independence is a foundation for not only your st your success, but also your happiness, your peace, your joy. Um, and I feel like in you recapturing that sense of independence and becoming an individual again, it helped to heal your heart. Forty four, forty four. So four, 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 four. four. Some of y'all could be seeing 444. Some of y'all could have turned 44 on November 8th or November, uh, October 26th yet again. Um, I definitely am sensing that with you all, with this individuality. I feel you and your person are mirroring one another in terms of, um, you know, just the energy, you know, the energy it required um, to heal um, or the, the lesson required, excuse me, um, to heal. Uh, where individuality, independence um, was very important. A lot of you um, was receiving many um, downloads, transmissions, divine interventions. Uh, maybe there was a lot of dream activity. Uh, maybe this is you and your person. Um, we're also receiving a lot of dream activity. Maybe because, you know, you Scorpios have already gone through and completed that karmic cycle. You're now, you know, being the uh, beacon of light for your divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, 45, 45, so that's 9, 9 again, and that's 18, that's 9, so yeah, there's something changing, and it's changing quickly, abruptly, um, and it's because of the healing that you have done to yourself, you're triggering your person, and this is why they're, you know, finally mustering up the courage, the strength, um, and also accessing the wisdom, the wise dome, the, uh, downloads, having clarity in a situation that they need to walk away from. Um, they need to make more of an effort to seek, uh, you know, to seek a sense of stability and security for, for themselves, to establish a solid foundation for themselves, opposed to settling, opposed to um, cohabitating with someone that they don't have anything in common with anymore. Um, it's like they've outgrown that connection. Um, and so we have uh, Erica Badu, and this is called Me. So I am feeling like, you know, this person is starting to think about themselves now. Uh, and maybe they was dealing with somebody who thought it was all about them. It was like me, 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 me is all I'm hearing. And, um, you know, and so this person now is realizing like, nah, I got to do me. You know, I got to prioritize my needs, my wants, my desires. I feel like somebody definitely um, was self-sabotaging, overcompensating. Um, you know, they stayed in a situation maybe because of finances, maybe because they felt somebody could take care of them. Like I said, codependent. Um, maybe it was codependent emotionally, codependent financially, or just codependent, you know, for the security, the stability, um, you know, and the fake happiness, maybe for a family, whatever the case may be. They had to learn to stand erect, you know. This person had to heal from past wounds and traumas. Um, they had to go take it back to the root cause. Um, same as you, Scorpios, you know, and this person is getting closer um, to, you know, finally, um, you know, walking away from something that has really caused them a lot of pain, um, caused them a lot of trauma, caused them to question themselves. I feel like they're now being more focused on the self. They're now, you know, realizing that they can no longer self-sabotage and overcompensate. They have to worry about themselves first. Prioritize, they prioritize their needs, wants, and desires. Uh, because we have Erica Badu here um, saying me. So this person's definitely, um, you know, thinking about themselves more. And so with karmic completion, see that? So there is a mirroring effect You've triggered your person by healing yourselves. You've triggered your person. You got 11, 11, 11 here. You have 9, um, 9, 9, 9. Uh, so you got 9, 9, 9. You have 11, 11, 11. You have 5, 5. Okay. And then I see uh, 3, 4. And then I see seven. Okay, so yeah. 
So a lot of you could be seeing 1111 a lot. You could be seeing 999 a lot. Um, maybe you're seeing 1010, 66, um, 555, 444. Um, or maybe some of you, you have a life path number of 7, 3, um, 9, 6, or 5, 4, 2. Um, but with this, your person had to complete a karmic lesson. And because of the completion of that karmic lesson, that karmic cycle, the because you've closed the chapter, you've released something, this is why you have this blessing. This is why you have, you know, a lot of happiness, peace, joy, healing is, is, is taking place. And this is 34, which is uh, 7, and then 3. So that also is um, 10. So you're being rewarded um, for completing a cycle, for, you know, ending something that was no longer serving your highest good. Um, and now there's rewards, recognition, there's opulence, and the divine is really, um, see that? I can't make this up. Manifestation. So learning how to manifest. You've manifested some sort of uh, abundance here. You know, this is blossoming because of, like I said before, the hard work. The seeds you've planted, learning to set intention. You had the uh, magician in the mirror. So this is really about, you know, utilizing, um, you know, the elements around you to manifest what you desire. And so we have um, Jadakiss um, featuring Slim. And this is called So Fly. And so somebody definitely feels that you're fly. But I also feel like this is like wish fulfillment. You know, this is about you, you know, sending up prayers, petitions, doing daily mantras, speaking certain, you know, affirmations, you know, definitely manifesting, you know, through your, your mind, setting the intention with that three, you know, that's what that three represents. It's like, you know, setting intention and then, you know, your hard work eventually manifesting what you desire, you know, bringing your truest desires into fruition with adventure. There's about to be a lot of excitement, spontaneity, spontaneity, you know, this is someone coming in that's just going to, you know, they're going to be fly, you know, they're going to match your fly is what I'm hearing also because we got Slim and Jada Kiss so fly. So they're going to match your fly. And this is the number 55. So this is like, you know, 10. So this is someone new coming in, someone new uh, bringing that passion, that desire this is someone that had to also go through a lot of trials and errors. You know, this is someone who also had to, you know, get their heart broken in order to learn from the experience, to learn how to to become, you know, the master manifestors that they are. They could be manifesting you and you them. But I feel both of you are matching one another's energy. So you both are very spiritually strong. Um, you both have, you know, endured great deal of of pain in your experiences, but you are, um, you know, you're coming into a time where you can now celebrate, you can now be happy, overjoyed. You know, I feel this communication, like someone will communicate how they feel. And we have Janae Aiko, and this is called Stranger. So I feel like this person, you know, maybe you and this person have been like estranged from one another, you know, separated, non -com not communicating. Maybe um, you have a secret admirer. Maybe this person became a stranger and I feel like, you know, things are going to change because they could be communicating with you, you know, maybe via your dreams. This is number 34. So that's seven. That's the crown chakra. So the crown chakra deals with like your intuition. So maybe this person dreams of you. There's dream activity. Maybe they visit you in the 5D. Uh, maybe this person is uh, communicating with you telepathically, clairaudiently through the music. A stranger is playing, like I said, you know, and this could be someone that you ghosted or someone that ghosted you. Um, we have abundance here in the bottom of the deck. So you do have, um, you know, double messages. So the both of you are mirroring one another because this person's energy um, is also matching yours. I feel like the reason why these these numbers are doubling is because of the simple fact that uh, your, you and your divine masculine, divine feminine are mirroring one another. And this person is being sent by your angels. Uh, we saw the angel of love was conspiring behind the scenes. And we have Archangel Raphael, who is um, the angel of the heart chakra. Um, 
is also present on the table and he is happens to be the number 11 and then the number 11 fell right underneath it not to mention the number 11 relationship change so you are going to be in a relationship um a caring connection um someone who's going to romanticize you court you be charming be uh thoughtful kind loving that's going to speak your love language someone that's going to match your fly according to slim and jadakus uh i feel like for many of you all with this creativity and the number three this represents the divine feminine the empress uh so i do feel like um a lot of you you know with this creativity that deals with the third chakra but three is also the number of the divine feminine the empress many of you are in your power and someone is very much attracted to your radiance, um, to your glow up. They see you as very strong, very powerful, uh, very healing, very nurturing, very alluring, very inviting, um, very magnetic. Um, there is this sense that you bring joy, you bring peace, uh, you bring happiness to the equation when they're around you. They feel like a child again. You know, they feel, um, you know, like they know you. But this energy, you know, like I said, um, this number three is also about you manifesting this. So I do feel like you are very intricate in manifesting the right person to you. Someone that's going to come in and be thoughtful, kind, be emotionally intelligent, be communicative. I feel like with creativity, a lot of you are master manifestors, you're creatives in regards to, you know, whether you create music, um, whether you play instruments, maybe you're sound therapists. Um, I feel like you have a very strong creative energy, um, creative power. So you could be birthing new ideas, new ways of thinking. I feel you also are, you know, birthing life. So some of you could be uh, pregnant with child or some of you could become pregnant. Um, but I feel like there is a sense that you are honing skills and gifts and talents. Um, and this is making you more optimistic. I feel like there's a bright future ahead, new opportunities, expansion. There's happiness and joy here. Um, and this is a beautiful energy of creativity. Someone that is the divine feminine, divine masculine, um, you know, absolutely is drawn uh, to your creativity as well as what I'm picking up as well. So let's go ahead. We're going to get some messages from the moonology. And then we're going to pull additional messages. So we have your hard work is paying off. So someone's been working very hard, very tediously on a goal. Um, and with this creativity and then the music and caring connections, you know, maybe somebody has been listening to the music, which has led them to work hard. 56, 56. So that's 11, 11. So this is someone who's been working very hard, um, you know, at coming towards you. And the music has been guiding them. And we have luxury uh, Coco Cure playing by Maxwell. So this person is absolutely um, feels like you have. You know what it takes to, you know, pervy, you know, I'm hearing cure their broken heart, mend their broken heart. Um, maybe someone has been working very hard to do this. You know, maybe somebody will come in um, and want to just wine and dine you, um, give you the lap of luxury. You know, like I said, you know, very, very charming, very uh, alpha, you know, very coming in, uh, wanting to take care of you, protect you, provide for you. Um, and with this, your hard work is paying off. It's like this person uh, will be able to break ground with you. Um, you'll notice that they care, you know, by their actions, uh, by their attentiveness, their affection, um, you know, by them being affectionate and uh, caring, um, consistent. Um, and this hard work will pay off. So let's see what we got. So let's go ahead cut the deck we got communication is key nothing yet is set in stone so you see that uh someone is still feeling some sort of passion i feel like somebody definitely that you know from your past is returning scorpios this is just what i'm getting because you know the six um you know the daughter personal healing could also be like the six of cups 
um, I'm sorry, the door to um, romance is opening up. So that six reminds me of like the six of cups. You also had the door to personal healing and happiness. So that is someone, you know, I feel who was hiding, you know, how they felt. Maybe something ended and uh, they just can't get you off their mind. They can't stop thinking about you, dreaming about you. Um, they're missing you. And I feel like, you know, they may feel you're their person. Um, and this person definitely is sending messages. 58, 58. So what is that? Eight. So 13, 13, that's 14. That's four, four. So that's eight. So yeah, this person definitely sees you as wish fulfillment. Um, and I feel like they've been holding on to this connection. Um, maybe this person visits water. Maybe they are a fellow water sign. Uh, whatever it is, I do feel like um, they do communicate with you intuitively, uh, you know, and that's not enough. Uh, the divine is saying, look, enough of the intuitive messages. Uh, go and speak to your Scorpio. Go and speak to your person um, because this is the only way to clear this up. Uh, there could have been some sort of confusion, as I said, argument, separation. Uh, and, you know, with this broken heart here, um, you know, someone had to walk away. From a connection because they didn't feel someone was making the effort uh, so maybe somebody felt like they were being taken for granted taken advantage of um, you know maybe they were being um, like I said somebody was self-sabotaging running away not wanting to be vulnerable and with luxury coco cure someone is now finding out um, you know that with you um, you know you 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 always made them feel you know like they had a safe haven they had a safe space um, you know you made them feel special um, and they do hear music a lot that encourages them to communicate, that um, awakens them to the depth of their feelings for you. So let's go ahead, cut the deck. And I'm going to cut it one more time because a couple of cards, uh, you know, kind of broke free. So there we go. And the bottom of the deck we have, have faith in your dreams. So what did I say about somebody literally like having dreams? Uh, visiting you in the, you know, 5D. This is somebody who definitely envisions themselves with you. Uh, they vision, you know, having this lap of luxury, this life of luxury, uh, because I do feel like, as I said, um, when they hear certain songs, um, they receive messages and they do feel your wish fulfillment. Um, they do feel like you have a very loving connection with them, that they have this synergy, this chemistry that they cannot find with anyone else. And with these two fives underneath each other, I feel something happened in the relationship that caused some sort of ending. And they've been very hopeful. They've been holding on um, to this connection, you know, holding on to it, even thinking about you all the time, keeping you in their um, thoughts, you know, is, is literally them holding on to this dream, manifesting it. Um, you know, with that angel of love, they could have been calling on their angels, their spirit team, because they deeply care for you. They deeply care. And I feel like this is something that you may not know because you haven't communicated with them. And so we have out of my league playing. So this person could be a little intimidated with you because, as I said, you're coming out as the divine feminine, divine masculine. And, um, you know, very mature, very emotionally intelligent. And so this person sees you as someone that is wish fulfillment, um, but they care deeply and um, they want to express this. But like Tiana Taylor is saying, they may feel you're out of their league. This music card is telling me that this is what they feel. You know, this is the clear audient messages, um, you know, that they may, you know, maybe um, sending you. Um, so you all may be picking up on the messages telepathically and they could be dreaming of you, visiting you in your dreams. Um, or they, you know, could be, um, having dreams of you, um, you know, where they could transform the situation. Um, and they're being hopeful and optimistic. So it's like, they're still holding on to the possibility to the infinite possibility that this connection can turn around because every ending denotes a new beginning. Um, but you, they know that change behavior, um, them communicating, being more expressive and not running from their feelings or being vulnerable is the only way that you will be receptive or open to them because they know that, you know, being closed off in the past didn't work. They didn't make enough effort. They didn't reciprocate. They didn't express love, show love. They didn't match your energy in that regard. So they know that they have to come in changed. Because five is also the number of change. 
And so we have um, Give It To Me by Faith Evans. So this person knows that they're going to have to give you the truth. They're going to have to be assertive. They know that they're going to have to give you love. They're going to have to give you time. They're going to have to invest. They're going to have to show how they feel, how they care about you with their actions, opposed to just giving you, uh, you know, some sort of uh, gab, the gift of gab. You know, you want to see, you want to be romanticized, you know, and this person does want to romanticize you. And I feel like, like I said, you know, they're changing into someone very assertive, very powerful. They can be a little intimidated by you because you're coming off as this leader, you know. This is like, you know, that number 81 is nine. So I'm thinking of like nine of pentacles, which is like that pre emperor status. So they see you like taking on this power, being more assertive, going after what you want, being strong. You know, you're strong willed. So it's like you're not submitting your will any longer. You're no longer easily duped or bamboozled or gaffled or played. So it's like you're very strong. You're also emotionally um, in equilibrium, very grounded, balanced, and in alignment. And spiritually so as well. They feel you're spiritually strong. You know, that you could see through them. So this person definitely wants to come in and give you the romance you desire. Give you the love you require. And with this, the energy is gaining momentum. So they are mustering up the strength, the courage, the wisdom to come toward you. And they're trusting their intuition. They're now using discernment. They're now picking up on the divine interventions, downloads, guidance from spirit. You know, the divine is giving it to them. The divine is giving them those nudges. The divine is giving them those little um, transmissions. And I feel like eventually communication will come. We got three birds here. And I'm thinking of Bob Marley, three little birds. So maybe some of you all, um, you love Bob Marley, maybe this person, that could be their favorite um, artist, or maybe this person chiefs a lot of green that I'm speaking of. So let's see. So why is uh, Daughter Romance Leadership here? Why is Spirit of Love and Light? Get my cards a bang bang boogie. Yeah, this person gets a little uh, flustered, you know, a little flustered, fluttered when they, you know, their hearts flutter is what I'm hearing when they think of you, when they think of giving it to you. Maybe you all were intimate in the past. And maybe this person pleases themselves, this self pleasure. I also hear this person is self medicating. Like they may smoke a lot of weed, smoke a lot of green, a lot of earth, you know, a lot of herbal essence. A lot of gas, a lot of exotics. They may chief a lot just to kind of like, maybe they're going to be high when they call, when they, um, maybe they feel sh uh, more powerful when they have herb, you know, they feel more centered down to earth. So it says your dreams need a pla practical plan. So someone realizes that they got to tweak some things, you know, they got to tweak some things. Maybe they still got some, some, um, Residual situation, like there's still residual emotions, energies, resentments, animosities, or someone in the background that needs to be, um, you know, released. They got to release that person. They got to let go of that person. They got to let it go. And I'm hearing Teddy P. Think I got to let it go. Doom, 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 doom. Looks like another love TKO. So they got to end somebody that they've had some sort of um, connection with. So they got to end this. They got to change this relationship status with that person. So if they're in a relationship, they got to end the relationship. Because it says relationship change. In order to come towards you, it says your dreams need a practical plan. So it's not practical to come towards somebody and you still got somebody scraggling on. So it's like they're going to have to end something, release someone, make a decision, a choice. 56, that could be two. You know, that reduces to two. So there's a decision. There's a choice that they need to make. And somebody's heart's going to get broken. You know, it may break their heart to break someone else's heart, but it needs to be done so that they could go after what it is they truly desire. And right now we have the thickness, Jill Scott. So maybe they got to, you know, stop being thick headed, stubborn. And they got to end this because, you know, this is a bull on here. You know, bulls are stubborn. So maybe they're trying to be stubborn by not communicating. 
by not expressing what they truly feel. See that? Look at that. A ram with those horns. Stubborn. You know, and it says it's it's uh, time to take action. So they're going to have to take action. They was being stubborn, you know, trying to run away from this connection, I feel. You know, kind of watching you from a distance, maybe watching you on the World Wide Web, looking at your photos. You know, like I said, nostalgic energy, you know, reminiscing on, you know, old times, old um, experiences, you know, intimate moments. And it's like they need to now take action and stop living in their head. You know, the Rams uh, affirmation is I am. So, you know, they know that they are powerful. They are action. They embody action. You know, they are confidence. And so this person knows that they have to do what they need to do. You know, and and be true to themselves. This is about being true and honoring. You know. What you truly desire, which are your heart's truest desires. So why is broken heart relationship change here? So they're going to have to definitely break someone's heart. A new romantic cycle begins. See that? You got to let go of the past in order for the new to come in. You got to release. So they got to release this old person because the divine is saying, once you release that, a new romantic cycle can begin. But you got to release the old cycle. The old cycle, you have to close the door to your past so that you can enter into, you know, this new door to personal healing and happiness. To this new you know, very spiritual connection, spiritual union, bond, counterpart, connection, divine, feminine, yin, yang. You know, this is that energy. And so we have, it's time to release negativity. I can't make this shit up. So they got to release someone that caused them a lot of pain and anguish. You know, they was living in their head too much. They got to stop, you know, holding on to fears. Full fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. But they know deep down what they want and what they truly desire is their divine feminine, divine masculine, their twin flame, and they know it's not this person that they're with. So they got to release this negative person, this negative mindset, this I can't mentality, and they have to say I can or I am, just like that Ram was reminding them, because a new romantic cycle can absolutely begin once they take that very, uh, very necessary step. And with the thickness playing by Jill Scott, I feel like, you know, they thick-headed. Like I said, they're just very stubborn. You know? All right. Show the world the real you. I cannot make this shit up. They need to walk away so they can be their authentic selves. Because whoever they were with was shunning them. It was like, they was kind of like keeping them stuck and stagnant. You know, with this gate, it's like they're keeping them locked in. You know, it's almost like somebody is like an energy vampire. It's a very negative energy, very restrictive energy. Somebody kind of constraining them or concealing them or blocking them or binding them, you know. And it's like, you know, and this is why they couldn't make an effort to come towards you. This is why they didn't have any stability because maybe they was living under someone else's rules, regulations. And maybe they got to walk away from that. Maybe they got to leave that person's home in order to have some sense of stability. And they need to be able to, you know, stand in their truth, stand perpendicular in their square. You know, this person has to make an effort. They have to find some sense of stability, a solid foundation. And more importantly, they got to be their authentic selves. The divine is reminding them, like, you walking away is you being your authentic self. Not living in someone else's shadow or not living by someone else's rule of their thumb. This is about you living for you, doing what you feel you want to do. You can't have your dreams or have your cake and eat it too. You can't have your Scorpio and still be in a toxic relationship or still tied to someone. You know, you have to release that, let that go in order for the door to personal healing and happiness to open up. And I feel like your person does because they're walking away, you know, and they're making the effort to do so. So they're perhaps they're moving out of a home. You know, maybe if they were codependent on someone because this individuality card is right next to it, along with the Archangel Raphael, the heart chakra card. So they had to heal themselves. They made the effort to, you know, create a sacred space 
and to connect to their higher self, to seek wise counsel, to speak to the elders in their family, you know, to speak to other um, like minds, to get sound advice. My throat is blocking up. So this person has really suppressed and repressed a lot of their emotions and feelings. And it's because they were codependent on someone else. Their livelihood would have been affected. But they're now trusting on, you know, in their own abilities, you know, trusting in their own efforts and knowing that walking away, regardless, they're trusting that it's going to be okay. They're surrendering to the divine. They're no longer trying to stay somewhere to get into where they fit in or to, to, to go along, to get along, to appease and please. They're finally going to show the world the real them. And it's because they know that they have love waiting, you know. Waiting off in the distance. This love is very balanced. This love could lead to marriage. You know, this is wish fulfillment to them. And so we have um, the end of a tough cycle approaches. See that? I can't make this up. So as you learn to stand on your own two legs, you know, when you pull yourself up from the bootstrap and you realize that your independence is the foundation for your security and your stability, now that tough cycle can end because you're no longer codependent on someone else to protect you, to provide for you, to care for you. You can do all of that alone. You know, that's what's most important. You cannot always, you can't rely on someone else for your happiness or for your, your livelihood, period. You know what I'm saying? Because if you do, it's like they always are going to have some sort of power over you or the circumstance. So you're always going to be dependent on someone else for your happiness or for your um, security, your stability. So this tough cycle can now end because you've begun healing thyself. And in healing thyself, you know, you begin to love thyself and loving thyself, you begin to know thyself. And now you know that, you know, you, you are independent. You st you're strong. And you receive those downloads and divine interventions from spirit reminding you of this as you was doing your due diligence, as you was doing the work, as you was healing, you know. And so I feel like with this energy of individuality, you now, um, you know, have someone who's also coming in, who's also broken free from that codependent, toxic relationship. And so this cycle is now completed, which means a new cycle is, is coming in that you've manifested, especially with the magician and the mirror, calling in, setting in petitions, setting up petitions, um, you know, writing in your manifestation journals, doing uh, certain manifestation rituals, speaking to your angels and guides, doing certain, you know, rituals on certain moon cycles. This is what you were doing, setting the intention. And so now this new cycle can begin in love because you've manifested it and you're going to have an abundance of love, not just one person coming in to love you. But I feel like you're going to meet your soul tribe, your soul family. I feel like you're going to have a lot of unity within your own family dynamic because you've broken free from some some curse, some hex, some yoke, um, which was binding and blocking and delaying love from coming in. You know, and it was karmic. I feel like this was uh, also something that was destined, preordained, but now things are turning around in your favor and whatever was delayed is being manifested. All right. So one card is um, looking. Up. OK, I'm not taking all of these because it was actually a gazillion cards st sitting up. So I'm going to put those back in there, give my cards a bang, bang boogie. So I feel like this is going to happen like, you know, you're going to find these blessings uh, taking place just very um just like, you know, unexpectedly, you know, it's like, you know, things are just going to start popping for you. So it says time to breathe out. So this is like, you know, your hard work paying off. You know, like I said, this is answered prayers. So, you know, whatever this, you know, whatever the circumstances were that led you to, you know, sending up the prayers and petitions, whatever had you in that energy of, you know, trying to change your circumstance is like the divine is like now you can breathe because the wish has been fulfilled. The wish has been granted. The miracle has taken place. Um, you know, so it's like you can breathe. This is like that exhale moment, you know, even in terms of, you know, someone coming into your life and, you know, you just kind of like you know, anticipating the worst or not, you know, fearing the worst almost. And the divine is like, look, you can breathe. This is, this is exactly who, um, they say they are. They're being their authentic self. This love is real. This love is, um, is real. 
You know, this is real love here. This is someone that genuinely uh, cares, someone that genuinely is who they say they are. And I feel like, you know, for you Scorpios, like, you know, you've manifested this. And we have, um, we have Felakuti, no enemy. So this is something no enemy could have blocked, no enemy could have delayed, because this is what I'm hearing is, uh, this is a gift from the divine. You got the number three, and then you have the number eight, so that 11 is the divine. That's why the divine said, surrender, just surrender to me, I got you. So this three and this eight is here again, so that's 11, 11, 11, 11. You got 11, 11, 11. So y'all got a lot of divine intervention here. Your angels, ancestors, like I said, are conspiring behind the scenes to bring forth that of what you have asked for. This is your prayers being answered. And this is really like, you know, look at this. Expect powerful change. This is powerful. You, your lives are transforming before your eyes. And powerful change is this door to personal healing and happiness. I feel like you're also going to have a lot of success in, in business, in your career. If you started a business, I feel like it's a spiritual business that you have started or some sort of spiritual career. You're going to meet a lot of um, great people in that area. you know. And I feel like powerful changes are taking place in your lives. And I feel like it's because of your work, your effort, and with no enemy, I feel like, you know, your enemies, you know, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Because this song is called No Enemy by Fela Kuti. So no weapon by your enemy formed against you, Scorpio, shall prosper because you have powerful changes. Powerful changes are taking place and it's the divine, you know, the divine is bringing this. This is manifesting very quickly. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is door to personal healing and happiness here along with creativity for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And so we have adjustments acquired in the required on the bottom of the deck. And I feel like you, you know, are always changing. So someone is making those necessary adjustments, those necessary alterations, moderations. And so we have bring love into the situation and the answers you need are coming. So look at this. Bring love into the situation. And so this is what your angels are doing. They're bringing love. They're also bringing someone who will communicate love. You know, they will communicate love. They will also, you know, provide any type of answers. Maybe, like I said, you know, somebody who did something real dumb in the past uh, is going to come back very apologetic, you know, very apologetic and they're going to, you know, and this could lead to like, you know, you all healing this union. I do feel because this is Gemini and there are two people on here. This could be like your twin, as I said, you know, the twin is dual energy. So I feel like this person is coming to bring emotional balance, but also trying to set the record straight to clear the air because it says the answers you need. And this person is like pouring water. You know, so this is like they're coming very uh, emotionally balanced and they're also coming in expressing their love. They don't want to fight. They don't they're not an enemy. And so I feel like the divine is saying this is no enemy. You know, so this is not someone who's, who's coming in calculating. Trying to hurt you. I feel like this person is coming to try to um, to balance things out. Especially with 56, you know, there, that 11-11. So with this independence, and that's the same energy as individuality. So this is about standing erect, fit, standing firm, you know, knowing who you are. And so we have Rain playing by SWV. And so, yeah, this person definitely, I feel like they've cried a lot of tears, you know. Um, but I also feel like money is going to start raining, raining down. I feel like you're going to be... Um, crying tears of joy as well. You know, when this person comes in to set the record straight and give you the answers you need as well as share, you know, their love with you, this is going to make you very, very emotional because I feel like, you know, the rain is just reminding me of the water, the emotion, 
And I feel this person could also be receiving downloads, you know, um, communication from spirit, from the divine to speak their truth in terms of love. Let your love just shower me. So this person wants to shower you with their love, which is why, you know, I was picking up on them being very attentive, very affectionate, very romantic, charming, kind, loving. And so we have true love. I can't make this shit up. So this person does have a lot of love for you. They realize and they love you. They realize you're their wish fulfillment. This song right now that's playing is Rain Down. Let your love just shower me. Um, rain on me. So this person does have true love. And I feel like it's the stirrings in the both of you. You both are mirroring one another. So the stirrings within your hearts and within both of your hearts, whatever painful endings you both have experienced, where you both had to walk away from heartbreak, loss, pain, confusion, negativity, toxicity, um, codependency, stagnancy. It's like the divine heard those prayers and petitions, which is why that angel of love came out during the pre-shuffle. Because the angel is bringing you the divine masculine, divine feminine that you've been praying for, manifesting, that you've been asking for, that you've been you know, calling in. And with Archangel Raphael here, they're going to rain down on you this this person that's going to love you, that's going to speak your love language, you know. So why is um, the door to romance here with leadership and your dreams need a pa practical plan? Thank you, spirit. See that high priestess. So this is very uh, clairvoyant, very intuitive, psychic energy. And as I said, I feel there's a uh, direct communication, the 33, that's also the sixth chakra, which is your first eye. So the high priestess is very wise, very in tune. I feel like you know your person is wrapping up a cycle, Scorpios. I feel like you know that your person is also, um, you know, it's going to take divine timing and patience before your person can come toward you. Um, and that's why the divine is kind of like reminding you to... Um, you know, patience is a form of action. So continue to heal yourself, love yourself, nurture yourself, um, continue to, uh, you know, step into your power. Um, I feel you're also helping your person uh, as well because you've completed a cycle and have completed that healing on yourselves. You've triggered your person to begin their process of healing and to release themselves from people, places and things that no longer serve them. Um, you're your person is now feeling the urgency to take a leap of faith, to take risks, to follow their heart's truest desires because they realize that, you know, whatever they're involved in dealing with, um, whoever they're with is very negative, very low vibrational, Debbie Downer, negative Nancy, lying ass Larry. It's like just a low vibrational energy that they no longer intertwine with, connect with. They feel a separation um, they feel like they've, you know, really been hurt a lot in this connection as well. And it's like they've meet the end. It's like they're at their, 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 their wits end. Um, they no longer want to fight for this, um, this connection because it's been too negative. But they do want to take a leap of faith to come towards um, you, to go towards you. And we have MC Light Cha Cha Cha. So this person definitely... Um, you know, feels that you're like a light worker, feels like you are, you know, light, a beacon of light, a ray of light to them. Um, maybe you healing, like I said, with this 56, I do feel like, you know, this person knows that you're their twin. Um, you know, they have been illuminated and clear. Um, they've gained some sort of clarity that, you know, with you, they have this, this synergy, this connection. Um, and they want to show the real, the world, the real them uh, and the real femme is going to um, make an effort to go after someone or something that they may have pushed away prematurely um, or foolishly. Um, so with walking away and um, effort and show the world the real you, why is that here? So yeah, this person has been, you know, they've had some sort of grand epiphany I'm feeling. See that blossoming. So this is about, you know, seeds you've planted are harvesting, uh, blossoming. So this is like what you, you reap, what you sow. So it's like, you know, someone's hard work is beginning to, um, you know, garner some sort of results. Uh, be open. You know, this receptivity is about being open uh, to someone when they come toward you. You know, this is someone who definitely uh, could be from your past. 
Um, but this is also someone who's now uh, more open, you know, to the process of love, to the idea of love, even to the idea of putting in the effort to have love, call love. They've had the, they've seen the light and maybe they realize, you know, they were too proud in the past. Um, you know, and with Cha Cha, you know, they was doing this dance uh, with someone for a while that they needed to eventually kind of like, you know, end, you know, done, done, Finn walking away from, um, you know, because, you know, they weren't listening to their intuition at all. And I feel like in walking away, um, this will allow for them to, you know, have a deeper, stronger uh, connectivity to their higher self, you know, and they'll be able to give to others. See that connectivity to their higher self. And this is because you are, you know, that that high priestess energy, you know, you are, are magi, you know, you are, um, you know, someone who communicates with the celestial galactic world, the spiritual world. Uh, you're very strong in your ability to manifest. And we see here that you're manifesting peace in your life, you know, tranquility, joy, happiness, abundance. Um, but this is also speaking to, you know, you coming into your divine power. Um, you know, you being a sorceress, knowing how to, you know, manifest whatever it is you desire by setting clear intentions and that manifests what you want. And so I feel like you definitely were helping your person along in clearing up a tough cycle um, in them walking away from a codependent relationship because this literally was the same shadow work that you just completed. So it's like, you know, as I said, that dual energy is telling me that you all were mirroring one another. Um, we have uh, Adina Howard, butt naked. So I feel like somebody had to really become vulnerable. Um, this is turning your vulnerabilities into a superpower. Uh, because when I hear of butt naked, I feel like the most vulnerable a person could be, uh, is to feel naked, to feel free. So it's like you had to strip yourself, uh, completely bare in order to get to, uh, perhaps the root cause of the problem. You know, the root cause is always, you know, childhood, um, familial traumas, you know, your security, your stability, um, you know, how you felt as a child, maybe going through feelings of abandonment, you know, um, which is why most people go into codependent relationships. So it's like the end of that tough cycle, the end of, you know, that chapter of someone's life is over and now they can enter into, you know, happiness and healing and joy and peace. Um, so this is you, you know, kind of sending that energy. You could see this, you know, this, this, uh, sorceress is sending energy, um, into the moon. And so the moon could be communicating with your person because your person is very intuitive. And so they're receiving and picking up messages, nudges, um, of how to heal, how to release, how to let go, how to walk away. Um, and more importantly, how to be fearless, um, and stand in their power. So we have guiding children. See that? So you're helping heal someone's inner child um, because you've helped to heal your inner child. Uh, you're helping someone along their dark night of the soul journey and you're sending them intuitive messages, nudges. The spirit is also um, assisting them as well. They're angels as well. Um, so this is beautiful energy of you really um you know, really blissing your person with the the light because we did have um, that light song playing. And so I do feel like, you know, this person is now um, gaining, you know, some sort of clarity in the situation. And you've been using your skills uh, to help someone out of a dark, a dark night of the soul. So they're receiving your messages divinely, inter um, intuitively. Um, so why is abundance manifestation and take time to breathe out here for Scorpio's divine spirit. Why is abundance manifestation? Take time to breathe out. Uh, spirit of love and light. I have a message. And it's 132. See that? Expect a miracle. I can't make this ished up. Expect a miracle. Take time to breathe out because wish fulfillment is here. Why? Because you manifested this. How? Because you are the magi, the alchemist, the magician. You are the divine feminine, divine masculine, you're manifesting this and all of your prayers, petitions, all of the daily affirmations, confirmations, all of the mantras that you spoke out into the ethers that you sent up to the divine, they're going to grant you the wish, the blessing, the prayer is being answered, beloved. So expect a miracle. 
And this miracle is something that you all may not expect. That's how I was picking up. It's going to be unexpected. It's going to happen so abruptly because the cards was just spitting all over the place earlier. And so I feel like this is what's going to allow for you all to like exhale. Wusa. Because it's like what you've asked for has manifested. And this is abundance, manifestation of abundance. So this means abundance of love, abundance of financial happiness, joy, peace, growth, elevation, success in your business. You're the high priestess. You know this because you've manifested all of it. You are in your power. You're manifesting everything. And it's because you've, you know, developed a healthy relationship, strong connection with your angels, ancestors, spirit team. You created a safe space, so you spent a lot of time in front of your altars, in front of uh, sacred spaces such as water, bodies of water, purging, releasing, letting go, clean, clearing, and cleansing your energy. You may have done angel, um, you know, um, summoned your angels by candle magic. You know, some of you utilize uh, some sort of um, candle magic to manifest. It's 8.53 on the clock, so that reduces to 16. 16 reduces to 7, and we're about to clarify the uh, number 7 card of Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. So 7 is like, you know, trusting your intuition. That's divine downloads. That's the crown chakra. You know, 7 is also telling me that you all are getting some really real creative ideas you know, in business. And we have um, Marquise Houston again, and this is called Naked Again. So I feel like a lot of y'all, you know, when I think of Naked, I think of the star card. You know, she had to become the alchemist. She had to balance herself, ground herself all in the same time while releasing, you know, the pain, the hurt, the trauma, what no longer serves her. Purging people, places, and things. Turning vulnerabilities into superpowers. And so that seven definitely is telling me um, you know, that you all trusted in the divine guidance that you received, you know, that you were in spiritual alignment and you became, you know, co-creators with source. You know, you started to channel all of that pain into something creative, into your music, into your craft, into a skill, a gift. You've honed it, mastered it, sharpened it. And so now there's like some sort of wish fulfillment, reward, blessing, miracle that's taking place. Maybe you all have learned to, you know, um, set intention to manifest what you want and somebody's coming in and they're coming in and I'm hearing to bear their soul, you know, because we have naked. So maybe someone is willing now to be vulnerable because as I said, when you're naked, that is the most vulnerable you can be. So I feel like somebody is going to tell you the naked truth is what I'm hearing because we have Marcus Houston playing. Maybe somebody is traveling from Houston, Texas, or some of you all reside in Texas, Houston, So let's get our messages, divine spirit, of love and light. So why is person, door to personal healing and happiness, creativity, bring love into the situation? The answers you need are coming here for our beloved Scorpios. So this is very um, much a miracle and we have undying love. So this person definitely loves you. And like I said, I was feeling past love. So this person definitely loves you, is realizing they love you and is willing to come in and be very uh, transparent, honest. They're going to bear their soul. They're going to tell you the naked truth. They're going to give you the answers you were seeking. This person is going to be honest and transparent. And it's because they feel this connection, this chemistry, this synergy with you. They cannot deny it. You know, this is something they can't deny. And I feel like this could be a past life love. This is someone you have a very strong spiritual connection with, soul tie with. And the divine is telling this person not to back down, to not, to not give in to their fears. Don't let their fears to interfere with them expressing their truth, expressing their love. We got true love on one end and undying love on the other. So there is a lot of love here. And this is all what's going um, on in their brain. You know, they've been healing from past childhood issues as you did. And this is why the divine is saying you're guiding this person. You're triggering and waking them and activating. This is a very powerful energy. I feel you are amplifying, um, you know, this person in terms of, you know, the feelings and emotions, the intensity. It's like you being in your uh and your position of power, Scorpios, is why your person is, is really uh, feeling this sense of urgency. 
to come towards you. So we got this don't back down. So they're going to be very assertive. You know, that's why that leadership card is there as well, because I feel like they're going to come at you very assertively, very um, confidently. So let's get additional messages and then we're going to wrap it up. Look at the secret admirer. And this is someone love, that loves what they see. So they are watching you. See this deception, technology, the illusionist, be very, very weary. I feel this is what your person is um, running away from, is breaking free from, walking away from, because they're secretly admiring you, which would allude to the fact that they're still tied to someone, which is why the divine is telling them to take a leap of faith to go to after what they want to break free, you know, from the negativity, you know, from someone that breaks their heart, someone that they don't feel a connection with because this person is deceptive. They're dealing with some sort of Judas energy, incubus, succubus, someone that's definitely like an energy vampire because they secretly admire you. They secretly watch you. This person is very much drawn to you. And I feel like you're picking up on it because you are highly intuitive, you know, and this person may be a little intimidated by you, which is why they don't express with this emotional intelligence. This is how they view you, you know. They see you as someone very emotionally intelligent, attentive, affectionate, uh, very loving, protective, uh, honest, communicative, loyal, transparent. So this is someone who's also wanting to come in and match your vibration, match your fly, like that song was playing. And with words or spells, spells bind, mind your words um, and stay protected. They could have had someone who was speaking ill of them, ill of you know, a circumstance, maybe they was like a, a Debbie Downer, negative Nancy, um, just being around some really toxic, um, pessimistic energy. Um, and we got baby face playing soon as I get home. So maybe that's what they was experiencing with this 27, you know, see this, uh, you know, this gate. And I was picking up on someone living with someone who was just really, um, really toxic, you know, really like a negative Nancy. And it was like as soon as this person walked in the door, someone was someone was just talking ill, just being very low vibrational, very toxic, very hateful. You know, there was a lot of challenges and maybe they was being reminded constantly that they needed to leave this connection, leave that relationship, and go after what they want. Judas. So this person was very much a liar. You know, maybe somebody embellished a lot or just flat out lied, gaslighted, just said anything. It was immature, not on their level, not on your level. I feel like you already learned these lessons. That's why I'm picking up heavy. Someone that you're dealing with is going through this now and you're helping them. You're, you're helping to guide them out of that. With this, you will be the first millionaire. I feel like that could be the miracle, especially falling under, um, you know, blossoming abundance and manifestation and expect a miracle um, and uh, as well as take time to breathe out. So it's like there's some sort of blessing coming through. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're going to be, um, you know, like that saving grace amongst those, uh, your loved ones, your family, because it's like you, you're literally, um, you know, helping others around you. You have more than enough to help people and you're doing so. So we have life is good here. And this says what you put out, you get back. So this is a boomerang effect. The energy that you put out into the ethers, those, pra those prayers, those petitions, affirmations, those mantras, those daily affirmations you spoke into the universe saying, I want someone that's going to love me, that's going to be attentive, affectionate, emotionally, that's going to care about me. Um, this is what the divine is bringing in. It says life is good and true love. So the stirrings within your own heart has propelled the universe to bring forth some sort of wish fulfillment. So this is like infinite supply, forward movement, better days ahead. Um, and I feel like, you know, and it's because you blocked anything negative from coming in to disturb your peace, your joy, your happiness. You set boundaries. You were guarded. That's why your heart is in this cage because you was not just letting anyone you know, come in and distract you, disturb you, you detach from negative energy and you bossed up, you know, you, you put your crown on and adjusted that shit and did what you had to do. And so I feel like, you know, you also started to pay attention to people's energies, vibration. Um, and you, you know, you, you, you didn't just give people the benefit of the doubt any longer. Because you knew someone was hiding someone else. You knew someone was dealing with another person because as soon as I get home, it's playing. It's like as soon as they got home, they may not have answered their phone because they was living with somebody else and they didn't, you know, alert you to that or inform you of that or give you that clarity. And so you knew there were secrets. You knew they were hiding things. So when you did discover that, you may have blocked this person out. Maybe this person blocked your number when they was at home. As soon as they got home. So divine spirit, why is romance, daughter romance, leadership, um, practical and 
High Priestess Dana here. You radiate love and light. See that shine bright. So this is why you are awakening your person because you're literally, um, you're, you're like a beacon of light to this person. They're watching you in your power. They're watching you have some level of success, stability, victory, um, some level of breakthrough in your life. This is like you having wish fulfillment. Um, you know, this is the energy also of, you know, major breakthroughs. Like this person sees you as a star, sees you as someone that is very wise, very spiritual, very masterful, very strong, very uh, powerful. And uh, they see you as clever, apparently, because we got Erica Badu um, here singing clever. So this person sees you as very clever. Like I said, very wise, very, very informed, very experienced and very intuitive, very sh powerful. Like you're a master manifester. You're very highly intuitive. So it's like they know they can't get things past you. You know, they're aware of that. And didn't I say they was tuning into your channel? So this person is looking at pictures. They could be watching you on social media, on the online. Um, there's um, a level of attraction. Um, and I do feel like that's why they were secretly um, admiring you because they're still attached to somebody. Um, and this is someone that's very negative and they know they need to break free and end this relationship because we have relationship change right under broken heart. So it's like they need to change this circumstance, leave this situation. Uh, they may have to break someone's heart, uh, but it's time to walk away and to release this negative circumstance and to go after what they truly have passion for, desire for. This is someone who has fire and desire, and they want to go after their heart's truest desires. So this person could be just watching you for now, you know, seeing how to approach you, seeing what to say. Um, learning you they could be looking at pictures if this is someone from your past uh, especially with undying love I do feel like you're familiar with this person and uh, true love this person is realizing they do love you um, so why okay thank you so I got some messages do I take these there's a lot of messages all right I'm hearing no bang bang boogie so the divine is telling you to go deeper you know and this is what your person did. I feel like they had to do some soul searching, some deep dives. And now that's why they're willing to take a leap of faith because they've already soul searched. They've, you know, gone back to the root cause. They've, you know, gone back to ground zero. And now they could take action. So divine spirit, why is broken heart, relationship change, release negativity and leap of faith here. Thank you, spirit. So it says you ain't got to lie, Craig. See that? So they was dealing with somebody who was just a liar, blatant liar, you know, um, pathological liar. A Judas uh, did show up and my throat chakra is blocking again, as you can hear. <coughs> <coughs> so there's a lot of communication difficulties. And that's why the divine was telling them that communication is key. Where was that card? You know, communication was key in order to heal something. I guess it just showed up in the, um, you know, in the pre-shuffle. But that's what they were being told. You know, you can't lie about your feelings. You can't lie anymore. Somebody is in and out. So maybe your relationship with this person is exactly what I was saying. You know, this person definitely was um, breadcrumbing you because they had a whole other relationship. And so what they was doing was they was like not being transparent about living with someone. And they would ghost you as soon as they get in the house. You know, they wouldn't answer their phone. Maybe they would hang up on you abruptly. Maybe they would just not call, pick up, whatever. And it's because they was living with somebody and they was lying. And, and this is what you're saying. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, be honest because you're the high priestess anyway, so you know. And so this person, you know, the games that was playing, that flighty game, the impulsive, you know, unreliable energy is a very telltale sign that somebody has someone else. You know, and Jill Scott is playing the real thing. So I feel like this person realizes that you're the real thing and that they need to end this fake ass relationship because they're lying to themselves as well as to you. And it's causing more confusion, more conflict than they really want with you. But they're lying to themselves about wanting to be in the stagnant, stuck ass relationship. And so now they are being called to muster up the strength and courage to go after what they desire. Go after your truest, your heart's truest desire and stop popping in and out like, 
don't be flighty. This is immature energy. This is somebody not being honest. And so what they're going to do is they're finally going to make that decision to finally walk away and to, you know, come towards you and make some sort of effort. So why is flighty in an out effort? Uh, show the world the real you and receptivity here for our beloved Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. In the bottom of the deck, I don't fuck with you. See that? So they're going to walk away from somebody and set boundaries. They're going to block somebody out. See that? Mirror reflects. I can't make this shit up. It says, can they be the shadow side or mirror? Um, can they be a reflection of the shadow side of you? Check yourself. So this is what your person is doing. They're doing some deep dive, some soul searching and with the real thing. So they're looking back now and they're saying, damn, you know, this person that I'm with, they do not, you know, they don't radiate that same light that my Scorpio did. You know, they're not as spiritually in tune, adept you know, adept as my Scorpio. They're not on the same frequency. They can't have the same conversations, you know. Um, they started to look at the effort, the lack of effort they was making towards this connection. And they're realizing, like, damn, they're in their shadow side. Like, they're um, sabotaging. They're self-sabotaging. They're being self-deceptive. Um, and so they have to, you know, change their perspective on the situation and even walk away from somebody and, and, and literally say like, I'm not fucking with that no more because it doesn't serve my highest good in order to be open to receive the new. And in order to show the world their real, the real them, they have to say what they really mean and say it from their chest and, and, and speak it, you know, speak the truth. You know, the truth is always, um, going to free you. And so that's what they're going to do, you know? And so why is, um, Archangel Mikael individuality and the end of a tough cycle and guiding children here? So look at this four page letter. So somebody is definitely, um, scribing, penning a letter, um, letting someone know how they truly feel. Um, you know, but they're not sending it. It says, these are my thoughts. Should I send text, delete, text, delete. So they could also be kind of like just even writing in their journals, um, you know, releasing some of the past pain, uh, the hurt. Um, but I do feel like someone's also penning a love letter. Like this is like that secret admirer energy, somebody who's finally disconnected from a codependent relationship and has finally healed, um, that wounded child, you know, that inner child. Um, and now they're able to, uh, allow themselves to feel, to be vulnerable, to connect with their emotions and to also be more emotionally intelligent. I feel like this person is now finding, um, you know, the strength to, you know, just be honest and transparent, to journal their, their thoughts, uh, even their dreams, um, their emotions, and maybe they're penning you a lever, a love letter. Um, letting you know how they feel and they will eventually send this letter uh, with flighty ins and out. I feel like this is, you know, part of what um, you all have had to deal with. Uh, and in this, in the interim of that, um, maybe some of you all, you know, and I feel strongly that this belongs here. This is that same person uh, that I was picking up on. Um, because this flighty ins and out does not go under the abundance. It just doesn't match. But I do feel like with this energy, the flighty and the four page letter, this is that secret admirer because a secret admirer is going to be flighty because they can only pop up. But so often because they got eyes on them because they're in a whole other relationship because they got a whole other karmic or they got a whole other situation going on a job, a situation, a circumstance that they're given their, you know, um, you know, they're divided because they, it's not undivided because they're kind of like scattering their attention uh, in several different places. So they're giving their divided attention to multiple things, which could feel um, very scattery. You know, so this person is now looking at things um, and recognizing, you know, especially with this individuality, the heart chakra um, and the end of a tough cycle approaches and guiding children. It's like they're realizing um, that they were being immature. You know, that they were not being vulnerable, that they were afraid to feel, to love, to be emotional. Um, they were afraid of their feelings towards you, more importantly. And so I feel like this person has hid their emotions for the most part. And they, you know, resort to scribing letters, to um, expressing themselves in their journals. Uh, but they have not communicating this. And this is why the divine was saying, like, communication is key. A lot of them send messages telepathically. Um intuitively and we have Mel LaRoe um, and this is called Congo but the name of the album 
it's called brave birds so i feel like that resonates a little more so they know that they have to be brave and communicate brave bird birds uh carry information uh that's air energy so i do feel like this person wants to uh come towards you and brave um this situation they want to it, confront it head on um and really emote and express what it is they feel and why they were uh so unreliable and flighty and in and out um in the past, why they felt so scattery. Um, and I feel like, you know, they're, they're really in hermit mode right now, trying to discern, you know, the best strategy, the best approach. Um, but what I see here, uh, what's clarifying the blossoming abundance manifestation, uh, take time to breathe out and expect a miracle is where have you been all my life? So you do have someone very beautiful. Uh, this sounds like someone that is very much um, on your wavelength, your vibration, your frequency, someone that's the yang to your yin, yin to your yang, someone that um, is a alike, be alike. This is like that, uh, you know, twin flame energy, soulmate energy. Um, this is someone uh, that absolutely matches your fly. This is someone that you're going to feel is an absolute blessing. A answered prayer, a wish fulfillment, emotionally as well as mentally, you're gonna feel like um, you're gonna feel very abundant. Um, this is someone that's going to love you, care for you, take care of you. Um, with this Baba Ogun, I was picking up on Baba Ogun um, earlier, you know, with the breakthroughs and victories. So there is a breakthrough in a connection. Uh, this could be with an ex or someone from your past. I feel like there will be major breakthroughs because this person will um, communicate and express how they feel uh, with this number seven. This will lead to happiness. You know, the door to personal healing and happiness is a victory. You know, this is you experiencing success. This is also uh, you being in that very fertile energy as the divine feminine, divine masculine. The divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is creation, is birthing new ideas, is birthing new realities, new ways of thinking. Um, and I feel like this is what draws a lot of attraction. Um, you draw the attraction of other um other mates, but other um, of opportunities of wish fulfillment, you know, it's just you become a magnet to whatever it is you desire. And I feel like somebody really, really desires you, really is in love with you, and they will be coming towards you. There's a couple of adjustments that are needed because somebody is really, um, you know, setting their intention. Um, they could be in hermit mode trying to figure out the plan, the a strategy, the approach to come towards you. Um, but I do feel like they are, you know, speedily uh, rushing along with this Queen of Pentacles. This is you independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. Uh, this is working your way up, building a solid foundation for yourself, not needing for anything, not wanting for anything, having everything that you need, everything you require. Um, so let's get a couple of tarot messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have the Four of Pentacles. So this is someone holding on to you, holding on to the memory of you, holding on to this connection, keeping you in their emotional um, energy, you know, still holding on. Uh, as you could see here, this man is holding on to this feminine energy. And I feel like this is that person that watches you, that looks at your um, pictures, that um, tunes into your channel. Um, I feel you may have turned your back to this person as you did in this picture because of this person not being consistent um, with their love, having addictions, um, being deceptive, being, um, you know, being negative. Um, there being secrets and lies and things that you may not have known about uh, going on behind the scenes. So you have refocused your energy. This person wants to come back, collaborate, work together, repair the connection, invest in this connection because they see you as someone very radiant, very beautiful, very wise, very spiritual, a leader, um, someone who's a healer, shaman, light worker, very nurturing, loving and kind. And they do want to, uh, you know, invest in this connection because they do miss you. They have this affinity towards you. They have this attraction. Um, they also communicate with you telepathically, intuitively, but I feel this person does want to work on this connection with you all. Um, that eight and the four is the, um, is the number, uh, what is that? 13. Um, so this is someone that you have, uh, broken free from. Let me see. Is that 13, eight, that's 12. What am I talking about? 13. That's um, three. I was saying three. That's the number three. So this is someone who is um, 
you know, someone wanting to reunite, reconnect, wanting to collaborate, wanting to rebuild um, because they see, you know, just how beautiful you're shining. You know, they see you as independent, self-sufficient, divine, feminine, masculine energy, you know, very fertile, very beautiful, uh, just naturally attracting what you want, very powerful. Um, and they want to repair this connection, heal this connection. They want to, you know, work on this union. And I see kindred here. Um, kindred is playing and it's called, do you remember? So this person is really wanting you to remember this connection also, you know, with the six, um, you know, like I said before, that reminds me of the six of cups. So this is, you know, somebody that could be like a secret admirer that may just pop up and be like, do you remember me? You know, like, do you remember me? You know, um, remember me from such and such. This could be someone you worked with, you know? Maybe they, they'll just be like, you know, trying to be funny, uh, you know, cracking a joke like, do you remember me? Because it's been that long since the two of you have conversed, you know, um, but we have the Queen of Cups. This is your energy, Scorpios, in your power. You know, you have your chalice closed. And remember, the divine said you have to be receptive in order to receive this love that they're blessing you with. Because the angel of love is conspiring right now behind the scenes. What you have called in, asked for is incubating. It's in the incubation process. You're healing from someone or, or have healed from someone. Maybe you feel a little jaded or scorned from someone who broke your heart, but you're still a queen. They didn't affect anything. You know, they just kind of made you a little more guarded, a little more, um, you know, protective of your energy because they breadcrumbed you in the past. This person was being deceptive, lying, being dishonest about, you know, what they had going on. And so we have Tayana Taylor. This is called Choosing. So this person was picking, this person was kind of like picking and choosing who they wanted to give their time and energy to. So like I said before, like this person definitely was living with someone and it was like, you know, whenever they went into the house, cause you had cha 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 MC light. It was like something came to light about this person that you was dealing with. They was breadcrumbing, being flighty, being impulsive. One minute they all in next minute. They're not. It's like, and, and you, you, it was just like, you felt like you was on an emotional roller coaster ride with this person and they really broke your heart. You know, and I feel like you changed um, your your perspective of this person in terms of your emotion. You know, you, you started to see this person in a different light. You know, I feel like you also started to listen to your intuition when it came to this person, which was telling you, like, look, this person is not picking up your calls because they live with someone. And if, you know, they pick up the phone call, that person's right there. So it was like they could have been ghosting you. They could have been really just like ghosting you, lying about what they had going on instead of being honest and transparent. But I feel like somebody wants to take a leap of faith, wants to um, reconcile, reconnect. This is someone wanting to invest now. Um why is the um, walking away effort? Um, let me see. So this is the Knight of Swords. So, yeah, this person definitely wants to come in and communicate. Um, they want to apologize, but you got your back turned to this person uh, because we already know that you've created boundaries in a safe space. You're in a protective bubble is what I feel. But this person has already walked away and they feel like I said, I was picking up on urgency and this is a very urgent energy. You know, so they could have said some things prematurely or ignorantly or, um, you know, foolishly that they, you know, kind of regret. But this time around, they want to, you know, show the world the real them. So they're going to come in and it's going to be, you know, they're going to be very honest. They're going to be very transparent, you know, and this is, you know, about maybe their past affairs because they know that, you know, the answers that you are seeking, you know, they have to provide them so that you can regain your trust and rebuild it. They're going to make an effort to give you uh, some sort of um, answers you know, to, to be honest, you know, because what mirror reflects, you've, you've given them some sort of illumination and clarity, so they want to do the same for you, but the divine is being, uh, reminding you to be receptive, be opened, um, to not judge them on their past offenses, and so Ace of Cups, see this? So this is this person, this Ace of Cups speaks to you all healing, you had to heal individually, you know, this is about healing the self. When you heal yourself, you learn to love yourself. When you learn to love yourself, then you know yourself. And I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, Archangel Mikael hopes both of you, you know, recover, rejuvenate, um, recuperate from past pain, this broken heart, um, and, you know, help to heal yourselves. As you heal yourselves, you now can attract others who are, you know, of sound mind, body, and soul. You also had to heal from someone who you were in a relationship with that, you know, had you feeling codependent, you know, but this was someone who kind of like lived vicariously through you. But now there's this sense of freedom, you know, this person was very flighty, immature, unreliable, 
Um, and now I feel like now someone is having some grand epiphany, um, you know, of what they're more deserving of, of who they, um, who best suits them, fits them, what's best um, for them. And I also feel like, you know, this person is um, also recognizing that you're rare. This card just popped out, um, you know, that you're rare. Like I said, you're special, you're unique, but you healing yourself triggered them, you know, it triggered them and it amplified something within them. It, it intensified the urgency, the need to end something, you know, like to walk away from something, to to see something for what it truly is. And I feel like they're going to come in and offer you love because they have a lot of love. This Ace of Cups is a lot of love. See, this is who they was dealing with. You know, they was dealing with somebody who was a karmic or somebody who was very controlling or manipulative or, you know, just a gaslighter. And we have a right and a wrong way to love somebody playing by Keith Sweat. So this person was kind of sweating them. And this person was using magic to keep your person there. Remember, we had words of spells, spells bind. So maybe this person was doing binding spells, separation spells to keep this person from coming towards you, to keep this person stuck and stagnant. And they mustered up the strength because of the energy um, that you was radiating. You know, the power you radiated gave them the light, the clarity. You know, remember that song Light was playing, MC Light you know, by cha-cha-cha. So it's like you gave them the, and that's the music. So this, this helped them to awaken to their truth, to the fact that they need to leave this, this low vibrational, hateful ass energy. Cause that was a very negative person. See this, they got karma. This is your good karma. Justice is being served. Things are being handled fairly and justly. And this is why you have this wish fulfillment miracle. This is why, uh, the divine is saying, that they're sending in someone that will eventually become your wife, your husband, your significant other. This is a spiritual union, a divine counterpart, and this is all that you've manifested. You've manifested all of the Scorpios. Look at this energy. This is karma dharma. This is like, you know, the seeds you've planted are now, you know, harvesting. There, there's rewards for the hard work, the effort. And so the divine has acknowledged all of the effort. You planted those seeds and now they're blossoming. So this is, you know, like I said, that hard work paying off. Now it's manifesting all the prayers, petitions, affirmations, mantras, all of the journaling that you did, all of the, you know, manifestation rituals, candle magic, whatever you've done. Now you can saw, breathe out because the divine is saying, and so it is, so mote it be. When you ask, you shall receive. When you seek, you shall find. When you knock, doors are opening for you. So Mother Mary is here blessing you with this wish fulfillment, as well as somebody who's very special to you, somebody that you're going to feel like is especially made for you, somebody that you have a strong chemistry connection with. Life is going to feel very blissful, very joyful, very happy. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles. I can't make this shit up. This is somebody you're going to have not only uh, financial freedom with, somebody that's going to be like, you know, very financially set, uh, financially disciplined. But this is also emotional fulfillment, family. This is happy house, happy spouse. This is a happily ever after. This is building a legacy. This is commitment. This is, you know, investing long term. And this is ultimately that breakthrough you've been asking for. This is what has propelled the universe to bring true love and the undying love, uncompromising love, unconditional love. And this is the miracle. Where have you been all my life? You're going to feel like that when this person enters your life. They're going to bring a sense of stability, a sense of balance, a sense of practicality into the equation. And this is the door to personal healing and happiness. The both of you are going to become like spiritual partners. This is a strong bond, strong union. And I feel like by you standing in your power, in your strength, this is why this person is coming in. And I feel like this person has also been through a great deal. I feel like this person will have a lot of respect for you, will admire your strength, will admire your power, your ability to take lead. This person could have had someone like keeping them trapped mentally, emotionally stuck, you know, see this, this is the broken heart, but they mustered up the strength as did you to heal, to turn your back on what no longer serves you. High priestess energy, you could feel, sense, taste, touch. This is like your sixth sense is really letting you know what's coming in. You already know that you have a divine masculine, divine feminine. This is the yang to your yin, the lovers. This is a spiritual union. This is also speaking to you having like divine counterparts, a divine um, work relationship with someone. So as I was picking up, not only is this like a love connection, but you two could 
possibly run like a business. You know, you could be like creatives together, you know, creating a strong build bond. They're having to fight with someone to leave a situation, you know, but with this energy, the emperor, I do feel like this is the divine feminine or masculine. You know, there was a lot of confusion, a lot of um, friction in the past because someone had been fighting their addictions, but, and also, you know, somebody who was a master manipulator, but I feel like they've broken free. There's a victory here twice. So again, mastering, uh, mirroring one another's energy. You know, Baba Ogun brings the victories, opens the roads, and someone had to heal from some sort of betrayal, uh, you know, some sort of toxic energy. You know, this is somebody who really uh, broke their heart. There was tied to this person, codependent. It was dealing with addictions, afflictions. I was picking up early Bob Marley. So maybe this person smokes a lot, cheats a lot. But they was dealing with somebody that was manipulating their energy, casting spells, doing hexes. But someone took their power back, mustered up the strength to break free from this yoke, to break free from this hex, this curse. And there is... Uh, a dose of karma. Somebody's getting their karma. So I do feel like, you know, there's wish fulfillment here because, you know, when you ask, you receive Scorpios, you all have been in good standing. So I feel like, as I said, whoever your person is that's coming in, they've also been going through uh, similar um, karmic lessons because the two of you are mirroring one another. And so that's why there's, you know, this this, it's like this is destined, preordained. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But the both of you are calling one another in. And so we have keeping secrets playing by baby face. So whatever secrets was being kept, they're going to be exposed. And this is why somebody is, you know, going to muster up the strength, courage and wisdom to walk away, you know, because somebody felt like they were smarter. Somebody thought that they were, you know, 10 steps ahead of the game. But somebody does eventually take their power back. Somebody does eventually move forward and does take, you know, action to go in a different direction, you know take their power back and to go in, you know, this, the direction of the spiritual union, this divine counterpart is drawing them, calling them magnetic, magnetically pulling them in. And also the angels, you know, are assisting with this, you know, conspiring behind the scenes to bring this union into fruition, you know, so this is a beautiful energy. And with this ace of cups, this is a new beginning. This could be, um, you know, you all, you know, becoming fertile, you know, having a child, having a new relationship. You know, this is the beginning states of a new relationship. And this is going to like make a lot of you happy. And this is because this person is not going to keep secrets. They're going to be very honest, very transparent because they've learned from the past, you know, from their past mistakes. Same as you. So it's like the both of you are mirroring one another. You're bringing your best selves to this connection. You know, that's why the divine is like, show the world the real you and the real you is empathic. The real them is empathic. You know, they were trying to shun that or hush that or repress that or suppress that. But they're realizing vulnerability is actually a superpower. You know, being able to express yourself communicatively, emotionally, you know, is a superpower. Hiding that is only causing pain to yourself, you know, because they deeply care. So why? shun what you feel instead of feeling what you feel. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope that the message is resonated for you. Um, as I said, this is a general reading. So eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. If you are new, I hope that you stay a while. And if you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I would love to uh, take the time to give some shout outs to a couple of my beautiful uh, soul tribe, soul family. I want to say thank you um, to my beloved Karen, uh, Van Steen, to Divine Rain, to Kesquire, to Kiara Williams. Thank you, my beautiful soul sisters. For your love donation, I rotate and send that love back to you infinitely and instantly. May you be blessed this year and beyond. Uh, Happy New Year to all of my Scorpios. I will that it was beautiful for you all. I will that you all are, you know, working on dream or vision boards um, on your dream journals. Definitely keep note of your dreams. Um, I was picking up um, earlier 
uh, before I even did the reading, um, some of you all may be seeing numbers in your dreams. Definitely jot those numbers down because I feel like this year some of you all could literally like win the lottery or win publishers clearing sweeps, uh, sweepstakes or you could win like a gas um you know a gas station scratch off ticket like so please jot those um numbers down keep a dream journal do a vision board this year work towards your goals um and be healthy you know be more active go outside more sit in those um spaces where you can be amongst nature the trees the animals so that you can receive those divine downloads and interventions because i do feel like um this year is a year of harmony, oneness, balance, and I feel like you are highly intuitive this year. So you will have a lot more messages coming through um, and you just need to be receptive um, and be open to receiving those messages uh, intuitively. OK, so my beloved Scorpios, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace, love and light.